Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna really kick things up a notch here. This is a continuation of the previous video on building your own secure comms telephone network. In the previous video, we used a couple of these analog telephone adapters, the 2100 model, to build a four line secure phone network. Now today, we're gonna take this same setup but instead of just using a swap cable between the two adapters, we are going to use Commander Gateways, which is what I have right here. And we are going to build a military secure comms network that could be deployed anywhere in the world, providing the same level of secure comms. And we're about to start. Stand by. Okay, guys, to start, this is the Commander Gateway, and this is the heart of the secure communications over public internet. This is a military grade product. Militaries are actually using this exact same product right here. These are the antennas stored up in the lid. It has a nice little holster. The RPG stands for a ruggedized portable gateway. And uh, those are the end connectors on the side here for the antennas, the LTE antennas. Over here we have our LAN ports, a WAN port. The WAN port is for satellite input. And we will actually, we are gonna demonstrate this and test it with a Starlink at the end of the video, which is gonna be really cool. Um, DC or AC power input, very versatile. I know militaries like using 24 volts DC. So guys, we're gonna set this up. And if all goes well, we're gonna communicate from our Pentagon office here to a battlefield out there somewhere in the world. Okay guys, stick around. Okay, so here we go. We got the Commander Gateway all set up. It's got six cellular LT antennas on it. And what is it actually doing? How does this thing actually work? What it's doing is it's seeking out all available cellular networks and it's using them all simultaneously. It's bonding and blending them together. Uh, what's actually taking place is your network traffic here on the LAN is being encrypted. This thing is actually running a VPN internally. And it's also taking your traffic after it's encrypted it's slicing and dicing it up in all different pieces and sending that traffic out over multiple cellular networks. So that adds another layer of security. Uh, yeah, the, the chance of intercepting all of the, the traffic on all the different carriers and all of the different routes, putting that together with the secret algorithm and uh, then decoding the 256-bit encryption that the VPN is using probably not going to happen this is this is as secure as it gets this is military security right here and uh as you saw in my previous video i was running two of these back to back this one here and the one out there are actually still on the same subnet however the commander gateways the two of them i have them configured to run in a mode called bridge mode which is actually bridging the lands together. There is a tunnel from this land to that land out there. It's as if they're a wire between the two. And this actually also passes broadcast traffic. So you network guys probably you know understand what I'm talking about. Having broadcast traffic passed over the land between uh, two endpoints through a VPN tunnel is actually quite unique, but that allows for what's known as discovery. Not that we need it here, but it is a feature of the Commander Gateway. Very versatile product. And uh, yeah, so here we go, guys. We are operational. Let's go outside and take a look at the system out here. There's the other Commander Gateway. And we are plugged into its LAN port. And as you see, it just comes over to the WAN port on the adapter. And we have a couple of telephone sets. This is line two, line one. 
and we're gonna go back inside let's make a call we are gonna call 999-2222 and there we go guys Wonder Woman Call is calling. from Wonder Woman. <laughs> that is so funny. Call from Wonder Woman. Okay, it's Wonder Woman calling. Call from Wonder Woman. We're going to hang up and we're going to... Let's do 999-2222. Call from Batman. There he is. Batman's calling too. The Call caped, from Batman. The Caped Crusader. So that Call from is Batman. all coming over cellular, secure, bonded. This is just the electrical. So there you go, guys. How cool is that? Batman. Now, call the from battlefield. Batman. The battlefield needs to call the Pentagon. Five five five, one 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 one. And there it is in there. Yeah. Hello, hello. One, one two, one two. These are. This is your artillery firing orders. Stand by. Okay, guys. Hang up on that. So there you go, guys. <clears throat> really cool. Secure comms. As secure as it gets. But we're going to take it to the next level. Let's say we're out on a battlefield where there's no cellar. This could happen. Say out in Ukraine somewhere. So what are they using out in Ukraine right now a lot? They're using Starlink. So I'm going to go get the Starlink. We're going to plug that in and we're going to take all these antennas off of it to uh, make sure it's not using the LTE. Okay, guys, stand by. Okay, so we got the Starlink out. This is all you need, guys. Take that anywhere in the world and you got comms. But Starlink does not give you static IP. So how do you route? Well, you can do it through a VPN. And that's exactly what the Commander Gateway is gonna do. So, let's get this thing set up. Okay. This is pretty cool, guys. Really love this system. Stand by. Okay, so there's the Starlink plugged into the WAN port. That comes around, oh, there she goes. Always love how this thing works. Anyways, there's a Starlink cable, Ethernet adapter, got our modem right there, and that Ethernet adapter, the white cable, is going over into the gateway. And as soon as that guy is ready, Starlink is ready, I'm going to take these LTE antennas off to kill the LTE. And we'll be strictly satellite. So this is going to be a simulation of a, a battlefield where there's no cellular connectivity at all. It's going to be all, all our calls. They're going to be going over Starlink. It's going to be really cool. Okay, guys, standing by. Okay, guys, we are now on Starlink. The antenna is aimed and we come over to the commander gateway. Again, there is the Starlink. It's wiring Ethernet adapter, bringing this over white cable plugged into the WAN port on the Commander Gateway. I have removed all of the LT antennas. They are stored in the lid. And I will show you, go inside here. I ran a test on the Commander Gateway. There it is there, RPG 26. And we can see Ethernet, that's the WAN port. There's our bandwidth from Starlink. About 12 down, three up. 
and the LTE connections it had are now failing because I removed the antennas, obviously. Yeah, so here we go. We are running on Starlink now. We need to call, we need to call the battlefield. So let's do that now. There it goes. Call from Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's calling, guys. Better answer that. Let's go back here and let's now... The bat phone. The bat phone needs to call the battlefield. 999. Actually, let's call the other telephone. Dial it. There it goes. <laughs> let's hang up and we are going to call 999-2222. There we go. It's Batman. Call from Batman. There you go, guys. And that, that is going over satellite. Call from. We'll actually put that on speaker. Crank that volume up. Let's go back here. Let's see what kind of delay we get. One, 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 two. We're talking, We're talking over Starlink, Starlink now. now. Through secure, 100% secure comms. This call is going over Starlink first. It's actually starting here. It's going on bonded cellular into the public internet. It's then going up to a satellite way up there coming down on the Starlink antenna, going into the Commander Gateway, where it's decoded, back into the same subnet where it originated on the first analog telephone adapter to the other. That land there is exactly the same as this land here. <laughs> and check out the delay. It's not that bad. That's going into space going and back, space too. And back too. Really cool. Really cool. Okay, guys. okay, guys. There's our secure comm system. I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to do an IP scanner on this system so you guys can see the network topology. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. So there you go. I ran the IP network scanner on the subnet that the uh, the LAN is using with the Commander Gateways and the VoIP adapters, and there they are there. Now you'll notice the IP is different than what I used yesterday. The 100.64.0 subnet is what the Commander Gateway uses for its LAN. Kind of a specialized uh, private IP range. I've also seen 11.11.whatever .11 used. This is also, um, it's a Department of Defense thing, typically. Now, because of that, I had to make some changes over here, as you see. Yesterday, I was using 10.1.1. Here, I changed it to 164.0, uh, the uh, static routing for the lines. So I had to update that in the adapters and also change the adapter when uh, IP to match the like 100.64.0.10 for the first one and 100.64.0.11 for the other. And that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care.